Ah, okay. Luckily, dang it. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's. Now you guys gotta hear this. But what's up, guys? Wacko Joker here. And yes, my wallpaper is fantastic. Wait, why is it still up for some reason? Let me just. There we go. Now it's fantastic. We'll be playing Medusa's Heart of Stone demo. It just came out a little while ago, and I did not know what to record. Don't don't look at all those other games. But I'll play this today. Why is it not full screen? I, I can at least see this. Options. Okay. I want to start a new game. Enter. Let's see. We'll call it Whack Dusa. <laughs> okay. Left button or space. Left mouse button or space to advance dialogue. All alone, again by myself. Nothing ever changes. No, today is the day I will tell her. Oh, so you got someone you love, huh? Now, how do I move? W A S D. Can't use arrow keys because this is further away from the mic and it probably won't be interruptible as much. One day I'll wake up more than this, just whatever cluttered mess. I really need to throw away some of this junk. Please throw it away to me. I don't remember when I got the statue of arrows. Uh, it's probably lame anyway. Oh, is this a snake? It's a snake. It's a s what? Oh, that's my reflection. All right, guys, make sure when her, you know, snakes flare up, don't look or you'll be turned to stone. And I bear no responsibility to how you end up after this video. So I can go up and down. I'm so uncomfortable right now because the way I'm holding this freaking keyboard is terrible. And yes, I did play like their other game. Whoa, you're blind. Madeline. Oh, wait, Madeline. Is that you? It was it was Little Red Riding Hood, actually. But the audio and stuff messed up, so I wasn't able to show it on the channel. But I'll play their other game because I love their series so much. You caught me. Mind if I join you? Oh, so this is the one you like? By all means. Oh, I think she likes you too. She even... How you get your ears to blush? Come here, sugar. Love you now in the garden, isn't it? Why, yes. But how can you tell? I thought you were blind. Don't bring up her... Come on, bro. I feel the warm breeze on my shoulders. I hear the playful chirps of the crickets in the distance. I can smell the scent of grass on the ground and leaves in the trees. There's so many different ways to see. I guess you're right. C can you just admit love? Because I'm about to start skipping. I'm joking. Don't be so modest, Madeline. When I first arrived, I was like a newborn calf stumbling out in her mother's womb. While you're helping wisdom, I surely would have perished. We were both priestess priestesses of Athena. How could I turn my back? Wasn't Athena the one who did you like this? Or am I? do I got my lord messed up? I know who many who did after being... No, wait. Athena did you like this to help you, I think. Right? No, it was Athena the just jerked to Arachne and turned to a spider because Arachne showed her up. Am I about to sneeze? No, no, no. After being banished from the temple, now even my parents will take me in. I don't blame them. I sought this, I brought disgrace upon a farm, whatever, family. Don't say that! If Athena didn't want to be seen naked, she would have been bathed, she wouldn't have been bathed in an open spring. Quiet, Madeline. Gods may be listening. You not want to incur that rat. Let them hear what more could they do to you. You know. Wait, are you not Medusa? No, you're Medusa. You're just going under another name. Yeah. She was caught having relationships with Poseidon at Athena's temple, no less. As punishment, Athena transformed her into a ghastly monster. Her beautiful strands of hair became thick, venomous serpents. You know what I'm saying. Wacko, show an image. These Gorgons be hidden. No, okay, just stop. Okay, that, that was unneeded in this moment. Her face was so hideous. I mean, she just looks tired, not really hideous. I've seen some people that looks like this normally. I mean, her heart was made of stone. I wouldn't put that much faith in the practice of foolish villagers. Oh, but these stories come from Athena herself. She tells them all the new priestesses as a warning. What? Is that so? I actually fear running into Medusa. Rumor has it she lives on this island. I may be blind, but I'm still deathly afraid of snakes. They're such vile creatures. Aw, my poor character. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Please continue. As I was saying, I was so afraid of running into that monster. But I met you instead. Oh, yeah, see? Even though I am the monster, so I'm fortunate for that. You are the kindest, bravest person I've known. I hate to admit this, but I'm happier here than I ever was serving at Athena's temple. I, I feel the same way. You know she don't. 
Oh, even the stakes blush. Except for those guys, they don't get screen time. Except right there, I guess. Something I've been meaning to tell you these few last few weeks, but I haven't the courage. Oh, does it sound like the Madeline I know? You know, you're scared of the gods. Now I'm curious, what is it that frightens you so? So, whatever. Oh wait, before I tell you, there's something I wanted to give you. It's in a chest in my room. I'll be waiting right here. Are you gonna die as soon as I turn away? Wait, wait, nothing special. Just thought you might like. Okay, okay, okay. Be right back. How long has it been since my heart was encased in this stone jar? Hope I'm doing the right thing. Don't. Ew. Why? You're not thinking about giving her that, are you? I. No, ew. Why are you giving her a heart? Weren't you listening to Oriole who thinks you're a monster? She's afraid of you. Ha! <laughs> she. <laughs> What the heck is that, wacko? What she's afraid of is a figment of people's imagination, a lie spread by Athena herself. Remember what heck Kat said? Dang, after Poseidon and you just broke off, you just started going for some blind lady. I mean, yeah, I guess it's the only one you could hook up with, because Stone. You only get one chance. Wolf the Oracle's not the right one. I know the risk. It's just, I have a sense of bond between us, something that I never felt before. No. Things of mistakes, she was terrified of Medusa, and you're Medusa. Now, she went for me, I'm just saying. Not to be that guy. No, actually, wait, no, I'm not gonna be that guy. Listen, she's terrified of a specter which doesn't exist. In any case, I'm not having this argument with my hair. Not the only one with something at stake here. I used to slither free in a soft green grass, hunting my prey. Do you think I like being stuck on your head? Do you think I'm waking up? Do you think I like waking up every morning to a bad hair day? Okay, yeah, that's just a dick move. Points taken. Do what you feel is best. That was, just, that was mean. I don't feel like giving her this heart is the right. Is that Hermes? Who is there? Announce yourselves. Oh, that's per Perseus. Forgive my men if they have started you. They are tra they have traveled a great distance and I forgot in proper etiquette. My name is Perseus and I'm a quest to slay the Gorgon Medusa. I wish you luck on your journey, then. But you'll find no Gorgons here. Only two former priestesses of Athena's temple. Oh no, he just, look at his face. We will search this entire island until we find the beast. No ground will be left untouched, no rock unturned. And stature. You have exceptional beauty. If you properly persuade it, I may give you consideration. Don't even, ew. Your words flatter me, but I am quite content where I am. Silly girl, I'm offering you an opportunity of a lifetime. The chance to be wed to the most brilliant, most handsome warrior who ever lived. As grateful as I am, I must decline. This island is peaceful, and I've never been more happy. She's, she already has someone she likes. That's what she should say, but whatever. I don't understand. You rejected me, the great Perseus? This is madness. <laughs> what the heck am I thinking? Any woman in her right mind would leap at the chance to marry someone so glorious. Okay. Wait a minute, y'all got the same hips? No, wait, no, she got, she got curves. Okay. Unless, this one has been bewitched. It's the only explanation. Bruh! We'll take her back to the ship and find a way to remove the spell. What are you talking about? I am not bewitched. I am sound in, I am of sound mind and choose to stay here. Oh, the spell you're under is powerful. I must remove it as soon as possible. Bro, don't, ew, no! How the heck you gonna let her? Actually, you're blind, so I can't. <laughs> Put me down! Not fret, I'll have the spell lifted in no time. Shall we accompany you? No, stay here and continue to search. You find Medusa, cut off her head and bring it to me. As you wish, Commander. Let me go, release me at once. Ugh. Be calm, my darling, all your problems will soon be gone. Ugh, this dude's creepy, what the heck? It's actually disgusting. Hey guys, who are you? What have you done with the Oracle? You must be the other priestesses who she spoke of. Our commander. Perseus have brought the oracle back to our ship. Do you not see that I have snakes in my head? You will lift the spell that has bewitched her. Then they will be wed. Okay, yeah, so he, he's definitely a creep. What? That can't be. The oracle will not just run off with some stranger. <laughs> Obviously, you have not met Perseus. A woman will renounce the gods to be with him. There will be many hearts broken when the news gets out. I, I can't believe it. It's not like her. I told you she wasn't the right person. Bro, don't fall for that. Like, there was obviously chemistry between you two. What? What is that on your head? Come into the light so we may see you better. 
I'm sorry, but I have to go. I left some food cooking on the fire. It's a snake. She is the Gorgon. Medusa, kill her. Okay, now how do I fight? Yeah, yeah. Ah! Oh, oh, I got juice. That was close. <laughs> We're lucky to be alive. Okay, so this snake meter is my beam. No thing. No thanks to you, next time you have the urge to talk, do us both a favor and don't. Sorry, I'll be more careful in the future. It's okay, you didn't do it on purpose. I only, I really thought I found the right person, even though she was. Was well, her loss, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, now she isn't hyped about that. Yeah, she left on Life of Solitude with a hideous Gorgon. One of her luxurious decadence with a handsome hero. What is, I, I love it when they do big words like this. But sometimes, like, I feel like they're going over the top. Like in Hades, when well, that guy's old. But like in Darkest Dungeons, they be talking way too much. Like, nobody wants to hear your big words. Okay, sorry. I'm sure she's feeling the agony already. You still have me, eh? Thanks, but I just want to be left alone right now. I would if I could, but I current circum... Bro, just be quiet and go behind her. Prevents. Go to sleep, Snakey. I'll see you in the morning. Have a good night. No, no, let's, let's go, you know, let's just go and check. She was walking on her own, that surprised me. Alone again, even though you just... I guess just had to make sure what the heck was that wallpaper. Oh wait, full screen now. Yo, alone again. Hey, so, so the girl you liked just got kidnapped, possibly done some terrible things, and now is being forced into marriage. And now a new blind person just shows up out of nowhere and you gonna fall for him or something? Why are you barefooted? Ew! Uh oh. Okay, so you know I'm Medusa. So never mind. You probably are the right one since the other one didn't like Medusa. And you seem like you're okay because I think that's a smile. Can I surmise there are statues on the lawn to be collected? Oh. Yes, I would. Aw, oh, dang it. Never mind. I thought you were just a cool guy. Four soldiers. Wonderful. I mean, that's terrible. Four men tragically lost their lives today. I'm on the upside, we have four new works of art. Yo. Okay. <laughs> what the heck is this game? I love it, but what is wrong with me just making this game like this? Okay. Two more and I can finish that life-size chess set I've been building. Go nuts, O Ed. Why so glum? I don't know. Maybe because the person I thought was the love of my life just ran out on me. Sorry for making assumptions. I thought he was just some new character that you was gonna fall for. Or maybe it's because the only people I've, the only new people I've met, want to chop off my head. I'm beginning to think I'll never find anybody. Have you tried? Okay. Have you tried? Okay. Eros, what? Okay, what? Okay, Eros. It's the new dating service the god is the god of love created. Of course. The success rate is pretty high from what I hear. How do I use it? Simply stand in front of the mirror and pray to arrows for a mate. And just so you know, I switched the glass in the mirror with a polished bronze. That way it won't crack anymore from your grotesque appearance. Wow. Thanks, Oed. I can always count on you to make me feel better. <laughs> Not a problem. And remember, there are plenty of fish in the ocean. When you, might, when you meet the right one, you'll know. Didn't you marry your mother? Ew! I was unaware. Okay. Jeez, make one mistake of marry your own mother, and no one lets you live it down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying you, but that was disgusting. How you accidentally marry your mother? Yo, Oedo. Oh. Go to the mirror, lady. It's Lee right here. Okay, whatever. Whatever, it's not like I wanted it to. It's a nasty mirror anyway. It probably smells like turds. One day I'll wake up more than this cruddle. Oh, okay, so you do want to go to the mirror. So why? All right, I'm gonna let y'all hear me type it, text, you click it once I get to it. Okay. You hear that? Oh wait, my thing's not on it. Okay, it's really not working. That left click? That's right click, left click, Q. 20 minutes later. Am I missing something? 
Oh, there we go. Okay. I was clicking so much. It took so long. Okay, I just have to stay in this position exactly. Eros, I know I've not prayed to you in a long while. Perhaps I thought I didn't need love or that I was undeserving. But I've suffered for so long and I'm desperate to find someone. <laughs> Please, if you can hear me, I beseech your help. And it's the girl, huh? Oh, dang, that's bright. Ew, what the heck? Why are you almost naked? Should I censor that? Just censor it just in case, wacko. Beseech and I shall answer. The god of love, Eros, at your service. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I am. No, no, do not fall. That's nasty. Don't. This dude's not even wearing clothes. He's just gonna appear naked? Does this even count as wearing clothes? No need to be nervous. I'm like any other. I thought you said God, dog for a second. God, except devastatingly beautiful. It's just that your garments are very, um, revealing. If you got the goods, don't hide it. That would be a crime to humanity and the gods alike. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. So you're looking for a man or is there a woman that you desire? Just don't ask anything weird. I saw what happened to Fal... Pacife? What the heck? Should I look that up later? Probably. That was gross. No, I, I'm just looking for someone who, to love, who can love me back. I love. You asked for the right God then. That is my specialty. So what are you seeking in the mate? I'm not sure. I guess someone kind, understanding, wise, the, lead, the girl who left me and got kidnapped, but I don't know yet. Prefer, preferably a person who likes snakes. Oh, maybe, maybe. This shouldn't be too difficult. What you say are your best qualities? Ooh, I'm a strong survival, survivor. Extremely love, lo what the heck? And loving, you know, I'm here, <laughs> I'm here. Very good, and what about shortcomings? I can um, be impatient at times, messy. I haven't traveled much, so I, very, so I know very little about the world. Anything else? That's pretty much it. Are you sure? The more honest you are now, the better match I can find. Um, there's this one small issue that I have. Any mortal who looks at me tends to turn to stone. You know, just a little thing. <laughs> I see. That does pose a significant problem. I still think I can find you someone. In fact, I just thought of a person right now. Oh, it's he. It's not a she. What the frick? I thought it was going to be the lady who just got kidnapped. But it's okay. It's okay. He recently got a messy divorce, and he's actively dating again. And if it doesn't work out, I'll find you other possibilities. Whenever you see your heart floating above my statue, chant my name, and your suitor will appear. I would love to stay in chat, but I have a million other prayers to answer. Ta-ta! Thank you, Eros. I really appreciate poop. Did this crotch just shine before his whole body? So where's your statue at? Because I don't think this is it, right? That's Athena back here. Oh, no, it's arrows. Oh, wait, this is a dating simulator? What the frick? What the frick is this? Like, seriously. What the frick is this? Hey, baby, I'm Hef, 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 sis. But you can call me Hef. What's your name? Medusa? Wait, D Medusa? This should be an interesting day. Don't worry, I'm a god. You can't turn me into stone. I must say, from the stories I heard, I thought you would be ugly. Oh my goodness, what the frick? Nah, damn, I'm one who can complain. I mean, yeah, you really got the Uncle Ruckus tooth. Got the frick, what's his name? Dang, I forgot someone with this rib cage. I don't know, it's from a cartoon. You got, ew, your freaking body's just formed with the sword. I guess that's pretty cool. Cyborg arm. Right, this gold necklace, that's my specialty. I'm a master of the forge. Thank you. It's very beautiful. Yes, women do love the jewelry. <laughs> now, shall we retire to the bedroom? Um, um, how about we get to know each other first? Yeah, I'm not here just to... I'm here to, you know, talk. Oh, you one of those types. Okay, ask me anything. Huh? Um, I mean, you're a god, but I guess I want to learn your story. And my mother threw me out of Olympias for being too ugly. I landed on the island of Limnos, where a city and tribe taught me. Your own mother threw you out. That's terrible. Messed up. Yeah, but I got her back. Made her this throne that trapped her when she sat on it. She withered her old, aw. Uh, she withered. She was stuck there for days. 
My turn to ask the question. You like being on top or the bottom when in the throat? Okay, yeah, this this ain't the guy. Yeah, yeah I can't. <sighs> I need to find something that'll love Medusa. And I'm not sure if my character wants to, you know, sleep with this on top or bottom. It's like, I guess, Tom Boo. And I can't say I've never been with anyone before because I was at least sleeping with Poseidon. Well, my character was. Let me not say I. It, it's just, this guy's just not my character's type, yeah. I've got you one of those types. That's okay, the shy they are in public, the crazy they are in bed, am I right? And those members you were coming out of a long term relationship? Do you have any children? I have many children, more than I can count or remember. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty virile guy, if you couldn't tell. I once accidentally spread my seed into Athena's thigh. Ew! Ew! What the frick is this? What is this game? She brushed it off, but when my seeds touched the earth, they knocked up Gaia instead. I don't think I needed to know that. I'm just saying. Enough talk, are we gonna shake the heavens or what? I mean, another damsel, damsel in our, a milkmaid in the countryside. So you want to be with me than someone else later tonight? Don't take it personally. After the Aphrodite thing, I swore off monogamy. Hef is a slinging bachelor now who will sample all the delights the heavens in this world have to offer. So Aphrodite really broke up with, yeah, 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 okay. Depending on how you perform, I may be inclined to bring you into my harem. Of course you got a harem. No, thank you. I think we should end this date. I don't get it. Errol said you were desperate hard up. I came here as a partial favor to him. I'm sorry if he gave you that impression, but that's not what I'm looking for. Fine, you're lost. Um, what the frick was that? Is that the, if that's the best arrows I have to offer, I'm better off alone. No, I'm not giving up. Ow, I hit my hand on the desk. Frick, that actually hurts my left hand. Okay, I had to make sure. There has to be someone in this world who could love me. The lady was getting up. <clears throat> I will find her or him or whatever. Even if it's freaking this, I will, no. But I need help. Maybe Hecate will know what to do after all. Mark can't stay in the stone jar forever. I'll leave first thing tomorrow. Or you know, when now, now the lady that you love is just gone. Where are we going? See Hecate. Don't forget the tribute. She likes berries, a lot of them. I remember we'll gather them on the way. Okay, this demo's longer than I thought. Let me move that off screen. No, wait, no. Don't end it after I just said it's long. Character animations. This is guys, remember to read this. These artists are actually real cool. And I'm gonna enjoy all their games probably. Unless I have to pay. Then I'll still enjoy it, but I'll, my wallet won't. My pockets really won't. Oh, I guess I'll get these devil fruits. Cause these these look like devil fruits, so I'm, come on. One piece, that's the name. I guess this is what I press. Oh snap. Okay, I can do it. I can dig it. Who calls one Hecate? Heck Heck Ate? Whatever. The god of witchcraft. Oh great Hecate, I come to request your help. Please don't be angry with me. Uh, excuse me. Angry? Who is angry? Oh wait, wrong face. Hold on a second. Ah, that's better. Now where was I? Medusa Med Medusa, good to see you. How are things? I see you as well, Hecate. He Hecate? I don't know. Things could be better. What's wrong, my dear? Have the mortals been trying to behead you again? Yes, but that's not the problem. Long ago, my, you encased my heart in the stone jar to protect it from the pain and suffering I would suffer as a Gorgon. A jar that was broken by someone who truly loved me would transform me from being a monster. For years I've searched for such a being without success, and I feel myself growing colder to emptier inside and emptier inside, as if I'm turning into stone myself. Please, Hecate, <laughs> help me find love. You've been alone for all this time you've been alone for all this time. That is so sad, cause we mean though okay. <laughs> I remember taking pity on you when I first when I saw what Poseidon and Athena did. I mean, Poseidon was just you know, living his best life. Like that other guy we just seen. I forgot his name already. Athena was just 
hateful about it, even though Son Lee seeded on her leg and she didn't care, she just wiped it off. But when someone just seeds on one of her pupils, it's uh, whatever. No one should be subjected to such atrocities, especially considering your actions were quite blameless. But now you're asking for love, something that is not a right, but a gift that has been eluded, that has even eluded most gods. I mean, they lead to sleep around because they're immortal. I think I can help them. Really? Huh? Huh? Of course. However, you must prove, <laughs> prove yourself worthy first. I will do anything you ask. There are three tests you will need to complete. They will test your courage, strength, and intellect. Be warned, the journey ahead will be extremely dangerous. You can easily find yourself a permanent resident of Hades. Oh, okay, so I can die. I don't think I've seen Medusa in the game, Hades, but I don't know, that was just cool to do. Nevertheless, if you manage to succeed, I will show you what your heart desires. Then tell me what must be done. I am not afraid. Very well, for the first test, travel to a nearby city being terrorized by the Chimera. Over the years, the citizens there have offered me tributes and celebrated my existence. Now they pray for my help as a beast destroys their crops and steals their livestock. Stop this scourge that is plaguing my people. How can I help them? If I show my face, they will attack me or be turned to stone. I will give you one of my faces that will conceal your true form for those who gaze upon it. Upon it. Now you can really only date blind people or gods. That is so depressing. Yo, Hapdusa. A perfect fit. How do you feel? Kind of foolish, quite honestly, but it's a small price to pay. That's the spirit. I've created a portal that will bring you to your first destination. May the gods be on your side, even though they didn't put you in the situation in the first place. So where's this portal at? Hopefully it's up ahead because I don't want to walk backwards. Yeah, look how goofy my character looks. I love it. Heck, they wasn't kidding. This place looks like a desolate wasteland. Where should we go from here? Let's head to the city and get some information. I'm sorry if y'all hearing keyboard clacks. I'm using my, I'm using this part again because it was uncomfortable. Sounds like a logical plan. Oh, so if you go forward and backwards, she just stops in place. Hello there, human. Heed my words, stranger. You should turn back right now. There's nothing but death and pestilence ahead. I don't care. Try to press this as softly as I can. Oh, what's up? Fertile land is now scorched and barren. I tell my family everything will be okay, but I fear we all will be seeing Hades soon. Still don't care. Okay, let me stop being that guy. Yo, is this where I go? Nope. Yo, is that you, Zeus? Okay, that was rude. I'm sorry. The chimera has killed off most of my livestock. This cow is all I have left. When I have any grass to eat, she won't even produce milk. Some suggest that I slaughter her for the meat, but I can't bring myself to do it. I guess we'll pair us together. Or your cow will eat you. You know, cows be eating meat sometimes. This is weird. Ooh, stone. This looks like a road to the city. Let's just explore a little bit more. Okay, on to the city we go. Because that was a waste of time. Whoa, I'm fast. Oh, I'm zooming. What's up, sir? Oh, you want to stop the Chimera from rabbing in the city? I know the solution. The Chimera attacks not for the acts of the entire city, but for the sins of a few. Those are the ones you must seek out. What sin, you may ask? I will tell you. You can procure for me the ingredients to make bread. Although you wish to help the city, there's no guarantee of success, and I must look after myself as well. So bring me grain, milk, and olive oil, then I'll tell you what you desire. So, I just can't take out the Chimera? If you ask me to see, it should burn to the ground. We are a bunch of few fools for putting our faith in Hecate. Now Zeus, on the other hand, there's a god who knows how to look after his people. Shut up. Dang, Odie, how you doing? My husband went searching for food, but has been gone for weeks. He's dead. I'm sorry. I tried not to think about it, but I fear the worst may have happened. It did. He's run off to live with our cow. What? Wait, was was he the... No, no, he was not the guy out there. What the frick? He j what? <laughs> what? Yeah! No, I must apologize. I wanted to get that off my chest. Okay. Yo. Is that some mighty fine wheat you got there? Groove of Maiden, your money is no good here. I only accept goods for trade. After all, you cannot eat coins. <sighs> Bruh, what do I do in this city? Oh, a bowl. 
This discarded clay pot may come in handy. But you only will trade for food, huh? Freaking loser. <laughs> I'm Medusa. Heard the high priest slept with Daphne and also took Lydia to his bed. And she's married. The gods, if the gods angry with us, that's why. Be in here and it's for me. Oh, okay, so talking. I don't need your gun. He helped me solve this riddle. Who walks on four legs in the morning, two legs on noon, and three in the evening? A man. Why, wow, that's ridiculous. We we're born with two arms and two legs. Just because I use my arms to crawl doesn't mean they're legs. For that matter, when my father uses his cane, it stays a cane. Or I came up with that riddle as a cheat. Or you can say an animal that was. Nope, not saying that. Okay, yo. My name is Aesiop, the keeper of the city's food supply. The Amir constantly attacking our stones. Store is growing very low. <sighs> oh. Doesn't help that a plague of rats have infested the storage room. They're not like normal rats either. They seemingly appear out of nowhere. I swear the creature was sent by Hades himself with the Chimera to torture us. Anyone can get rid of these vermin. I would gladly pay with a bag of grain. Alright, sure. You know y'all would know I'm a Medusa if I do something like that. So all I know is the High Priest and Daphne are the ones who've done wrong so far. Right? Or Lydia. I forgot. It's one of those. Any food. I don't have any food. Sorry for your children. Tell me to eat hair. Okay. My former years, I could have cleaned this place all by myself. Can't remember the last time I had a plump, juice wrap for a meal. In fact, I don't call eating anything since being stuck to your head. That's because you live off my body. Wait, what would happen if you did eat something? I mean, eventually, you know, when you had to go. Poop? Not sure. I guess it will travel into your brain. <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> this job's disgusting enough. As it is without having to think about that. Let's just get it done. Yeah, I'll just stone y'all. Okay, that was scary. Oh, I guess I gotta aim for the eyes, huh? Because if I aim for the chest or something, what is that gonna do? Did we get them all? Looks like it. Hold on, there are more over there. Let's go get them. Eye shot. Eye shots. Double kill. Look at him. High five. And oh, yeah, you ready for this kill? But oh, wait. There we go. All those rats going to waste. How depressing. It's for the best. They probably would have given you a stomach ache. I think AC up was right. These were not everyday rodents. They looked possessed. I had to guess they were summoned by some unearthly being. But who, they, who would want to hurt the city? The Chimera might hold the answer. What the heck? That just mess up their voices. Possibly. In any case, we should get going. Um, how about picking up these rats? Because, you know, they're going to say, oh, they're turned to stone. You must be Medusa. You know? Right? Can I pick him up? Nope. Okay, I guess we're just gonna out myself. You killed all the rats. Thank the gods. And my assistant clean out the bodies immediately. Please take this back grain of token for my appreciation. Of my appreciation. People to see a bunch of cowards. Instead of complaining, they should just face the Chimera head on in battle. Alas, my mother would not let me fight. I dare not disobey her. She is a scary person. Okay, sir. See, this is why I don't take you seriously. Um, hello. Hey, food's player. Nope, nope, nope. Don't. <laughs> I don't got any food or grains on me. Don't judge the people on this city too harshly. With the Chimera attacking us, we are constantly short of food and lived in fear. What the heck? I can do this now. I didn't think of that. Well, don't need to. This is this turn bad. The, the, the blah, blah turns rampant. I imagine most people react the same given the bleak circumstances. Sure, lady. Whoa, never seen you. Want to save this town from Chimera? Let me help you. I only spared this jar of olive oil, but I hope it will provide you with some aid. I think I glitched the game then, because I already have one. I don't know why so many people are depressed. These days, sissies complain there's no bread to eat. Why don't they eat b b baklava? What the frick is that? I was searching for food. Yeah, okay, at least you're a good woman. Husband. He ran off to the cow. Okay, where is the merchant? Actually, I just remember, don't need the merchant. You're the guy I gotta give the stuff to, right? No, you're, you're screaming, guy. Okay. All right, bro. Nope, wrong one. Okay, wait. <sighs> Dang it. All right, bro. Oh, you, you require your milk. Okay, yeah, okay, whatever. I did not know you needed milk. Freaking on Let me go to see this. Ugh. 
Oh man, here I come. Give me them titties. <laughs> Dang it. Of course. Where do I find you something to eat, cow, huh? I got nothing for you. Uh, back to the city I go. Whoa, what the frick? I was just zoning out. I'm just walking across the city. Here it is. This grass could be of use. Woo! Okay. Because I just had this just autopilot on walking across the city. Because I thought it was going to be super long. I thought it would take like five minutes to walk across. But no, it literally took less than a minute. Like, as you can see right now, I'm almost near the edge. And I've been talking to you this whole time. Uh, okay. Well, just now I'm almost near it. Oh, never mind. The edge is right here. See that? Okay. Come on, cow. I know you hungry. I know you want to eat some grass. I was going to say something, but that could be taken out of context, so I won't. Uh, here's some grass for you to eat. Yeah. Yeah, you like that. You like to munch. And go back to your wife, man. Come on. Now give me the milks. I need those milkers. Come on, just... <laughs> And what, what is wrong with me? I think I'm too tired or something. There's no way I just did that. Oh, yeah. Um, let me... Can I tell you go back to your wife? Thank you for feeding Cassandra. You're welcome to any milk she has. I already took it without permission, so it's okay. You don't have to worry. Are you the guy? Okay, you're the guy. Oh, you brought the ingredients. As promised, I'll tell you how to stop the Chimera. Once it's not attack the city out of anger, hatred, or amusement, torments us out of love. Love for its children. Months ago, I... Farmers found and mutilate the herd of cows and blame the chimera for the whoa, what the frick? A group of hunters set out to kill the beast and managed to capture his young. Please don't say they killed it. I imagine the gods intervened somehow. Now the babies are being held in capti captivity deep in the forest. The hunters believe they are protecting the citizens from these monsters, but it's because the actions the chimera attacks. Here's a map showing where the monsters and hunters are located. Hunters. I, was, I wish you success on your journey, and hope that someday we can all feast together. No! Come on! I want to fight! <laughs> <sighs> I don't want to end the episode. I already joined. Oh yeah, make sure to join the Tire Boot Discord server. Oh, frick. Well, you gotta click this link yourself. Maybe I'll have it in the description. No, I'm gonna have it in the description. But I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new game I played, random game. I, I don't know, I'll probably play some kind of playthrough I've been doing or I forgot about. I'll just look through. All right, but whatever. Thank you, Tired Moon developers, or well, Medusa developers for making this game and the demo right now. I'm still in the server, so, you know, you know who it is. It's the Wacko Joker. Okay, let me shut up. But thanks for the game. I'll be seeing everyone later. Bye.